None of these ads right here were made by humans. These were all made by ChatGPT. OpenAI just released their new and upgraded image generation update for ChatGPT 4.0, and this could put a lot of people out of jobs. This shit is actually insane. Which is why, as a marketer, you need to stay ahead of the curve, or else you're gonna be left behind. You need to make sure you understand how to use these tools, so that you can use them and you aren't being left behind as the technology continues to develop. Now, I've locked myself in my room for the past seven days doing all the research and trial and error to show you the top three use cases on how you can use this new technology to make more money for your brand. So first, this is only available on ChatGPT 4.0, the paid plan. And there's nothing special you gotta do. You just go to ChatGPT and say, generate me an image, and it'll be using the new technology. So right here, I'm inside of ChatGPT. I can just say, generate an image of a dog with human teeth like it is in a retro 70s ad commercial for toothpaste. We click enter and then now it's gonna start generating our image. And unfortunately it's not good enough to generate stuff instantly. I've been waiting for about like a minute here and you can see it slowly is starting to generate. But oh my gosh, this is looking ridiculous. Wow, look at that and look at the accuracy of this. That's just crazy. And if you were to have like a oral health dog brand, this could be a great ad, just add some text up here. But you probably don't have that. So let's actually get to some of the real use cases. The first use case is enhanced product photography. We no longer need to rent out expensive studios, hire photographers or pay agencies to get us product imagery. All we need is a picture of our product. You can even just take a picture in your hand. You need a phone camera and then you just need this new chat GPT. Let me show you exactly how this can work. So what I did was I got this just basic picture of Athletic Greens AG1 right here. It's just somebody took it off their phone camera. You can see it's blurry and it's on a desk counter. And what I did was I just said, I want you to take this product and create a professional studio level photo of it. Include a powerful explosion of green dust in the background, feature the plain product photo, and make it look like it was taken with a professional camera in a professional studio. This prompt took me like 30 seconds to come up with. So you don't need to be some crazy prompt engineer to come up with this stuff. And look at what we got right here. Absolutely insane. You can see the packaging is clear as day you can see the lighting and the wrinkles in the bag even and then look at the coloring the gradients and then the green smoke in the background just looks badass you can use it on product pages you can create ads with this just add text you could add benefits and icons all around this you can even ask ChatGPT to do that but we'll get to that later but the use cases for this are literally endless just get your products shipped to your house take some pictures of them and ask ChatGPT to create a professional level photo around it and you don't need to do all this green dust in the background you could literally just do a plain white background and it'll produce some like really good stuff oh my goodness it did it again I just wanted to test and just say now place it in a lush jungle forest and look what we have here how does this do this I don't know but this is pretty awesome get creative mess around with this all you want and say goodbye to expensive agencies the second use case and probably the most impactful is being able to use ChatGPT for generating ads specifically static ads I know a lot of brands who are pumping out hundreds of ads every single month paying thousands and thousands of dollars for agencies when you could just use ChatGPT the easiest way to do this is recreating ads that you see from other brands that you like. There are all sorts of different places that you can look for ads that you like. Specifically, you can go to just ad manager, look up your competitors or brands you like and download some of their ad creatives because all the ad creatives for every brand are live on Meta's ad library. I just found one right here for midday squares. It's a super clean ad creative, just quick, delicious, clean, the perfect chocolate snack for your busiest days. It has stars and happy customers right here. And then it features the product and then the logo. I think this is perfect. I'm going to stick with the theme of AG1 and ask it to recreate this ad. So here was the prompt that I gave it, recreate this ad creative for AG1. I gave it the ad creative and then I gave the plain product photo. And then I linked it to the product information for AG1 uh, right here so we could look there. What I found to be the best for recreating ads is have it generate the copy first so that you can make edits super fast because it'll generate the copy in seconds, whereas an image will generate in about one to two minutes. And if you wanna update copy, you gotta wait again for one to two minutes. So ask it to write the copy with the same layout. And here was the copy and brief that it put together, quick, nutritious, clean, subheadline, the perfect daily habit for busiest days, 2 million plus happy customers. And then it gave the brief for the actual, like how we're gonna place the photo and then top right the logo and then background color. So that's gonna be perfect right here. So I got that and then I just said, please generate the graphic. And it is literally that simple. Look at what we got right here. Quick, nutritious, clean, the perfect daily habit for your busiest days. This is a sexy ad creative that could make a lot of money. And the powder is extremely accurate. And if we look side by side right here with right here, they're pretty much the same, just updated for the brand. That's the best way I've found is giving ChatGPT an example, but you could also start from scratch if you want to. So for this one, I said, create me a one by one ad creative for AG1 that shows the timeline of using the product. It should look professional and use what looks like professional studio photography. Use this info 
info and I just copy and pasted a timeline from them. And then this is what it pumped out. Super simple and easy. You can see it's not as good as like the other one. But if we're going off time and we want to pump a lot of ad creatives, this is fine. You can see the 30 days, 90 days, and then the text right here, just nice, clean and easy. And this could not be done in the past. So it's super nice to be able to pump stuff like this out in literally seconds. Now I do want to highlight with all of this, it's not perfect. There are still limitations that you need to look out for. And you shouldn't just take the chat GPT image and go with it every single time. You're probably going to need to edit some things. Like if we look here at this example, you could see the product label is a little bit messed up down here. So you could go back and edit this or you could just retry with chat GPT. And then right here, you can see there's like a spelling mistake right here and here. So the labels are the one limitation that you need to look out for. You can always edit this and go back after. And the last use case I want to talk about is UGC content. It is such a pain as an e-commerce brand to either have to pay an agency a ton of money to be able to go find creators or manage these creators yourself to make sure they're sending you content and they're giving you the right content that you want. Not anymore. Now you can use ChatGPT to help you out. So here's a simple example here, attaching the product photo. And can you generate an image of an athletic man in a modern kitchen scooping their AG1 in the morning? Make it look as real as possible. Avoid showing the model's face too much. Now, again, this is limited here. The face looks a bit AI generated right here. It's not perfect, but this is a solid place to start. And so what I prefer to do is something like this, where it's, can you generate an image of an athletic man, yada, yada, yada. Um, it should be an over the shoulder shot. So we're not actually looking at the person's face and we can show the product like this. And this, in my opinion, is a lot better and it has more use cases if you can find ways to not show people's face. I found that it's better at generating female faces rather than male. Like we can look at this example here where I attached this earrings photo and said, can you create an image putting these earrings on a model in a studio? And then right here, this is actually like pretty good. And boom, you don't have to pay any photography shots. You just have it right here. So UGC can be great here, but be careful with generating faces. Maybe just try to get over the shoulder shots or neck down shots that are mainly focused on the product. My best advice is to just mess around and practice with all of these. And if you find any limitations, such as the labeling on some of your products or some of the words, just work with ChatGPT and it'll slowly learn and figure it out. I literally just made these just for this video in the past like 30 minutes. But with more time, I'd be able to go back and forth and get it figured out. So what do you think? Is this the future? Are there too many limitations right now for you to use? Is there anything that graphic designers or copywriters need to be worried about? Curious to hear your thoughts. For me, you still need somebody to put the prompts together and you still need people to generate this and quality check this. So it's not game over quite yet, but it could be in the future. Thank you so much for watching the video and I will see you in the next one.